and that was it. That was, and that was I started playing Hold'em. Uh, Going in after school, right? Playing poker. That's so funny. I didn't even know they had Hold'em, you know, until the last 10 years. I always played stud. While liking your opponent and being friendly is perfectly acceptable. I can't even begin to tell you how many hours I've played of Limit Hold'em before you even oh. knew it existed. When you hit the felt, it's time to get down to business. And that's what Harmon's going to do here. Harmon with King Jack suited against Tilly's Jack 10 suited. Harmon's raised to 2300 and Tilly calls. Pot up to 4600 heading to the flop. Harmon flops two pair. Middle yes. pair for Tilly. Look at this, Harmon checking. She's going to slow play. Tilly won't bite, though. After check, check, an ace on the turn. Inside straight draw for Tilly. Harmon bets 2200 and Tilly folds. With no hesitation either, kudos to Jennifer Tilly. She didn't even think twice about that lay down. Jennifer Harmon getting the best of Jennifer Tilly. the Caesars Palace Tournament Room. The first round of the Diamonds Bracket is almost complete. Sammy Farha made quick work of Antonio Esfandiari. Paul Wasica took out Andrew Wilson. Gus Hansen beat Greg Raymer. Jerry Yang shut up Mike Matisseau. Darvin Moon defeated Bill Hunches. Annie Duke knocked off Andy Block. And our final match is the Battle of the Jennifers as Harmon is taking on Tilly. Let's get back to the table. Harmon on the left, wielding a big chip lead, almost up four to one in chips over Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer hovering at around 10 big blinds. Typically expect the all in or fold play at this point. Harmon with queen five limps in. Tilly with trade deuce checks. Harmon pairs her five, open ended straight draw for Tilly. She goes all in. All in. Willing to gamble. Oh, man. Notice Harmon isn't calling right away. She wants to think things through. I thought I had a four in my hand, but I didn't. It's unlikely Tilly has a four in her hand either. Or she'd probably check. Hope to trap Harmon. Pocket pair also pretty unlikely. Probably would have shipped it in pre-flop. It costs her a quarter of her stack, but Harmon calls. Tilly Jennifer at risk. Harmon with a chance to advance. In on the clock. Tilly's looking look. for an ace or a Tilly six to five. hit that straight draw. Three. Eight outs. Well, Tilly gets the queen five for Jennifer Harmon. Yeah, outs. 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 Uh, I mean, it's better than having two threes, yeah. right? And you need an ace or a six. Or a six. An ace or a six. Hmm. Here's the turn. Turn no help to Tilly, and she knows it still needs that ace or six. Tilly needs an ace or a six. Anything else, and Jennifer Here's Harmon her. is moving on. And it is a three. Harmon Jennifer wins Harman the battle gone. of the Jennifers. She'll oh, complete our round of 32, while Tilly will be one and done in 2010. <laughs> Tilly never really got anything going. And while I'm sure the two are still friends, maybe not for the next few hours. And with that, the round of 64 is complete. Eight Diamonds winners filling out the remaining field of 32. And it's been tough going for Canada. Jennifer Tilly, the fifth Canadian to be eliminated. And in the bottom half of the bracket, two World Series main event runners-up advance. The field has officially been cut in half. I hope you pull. I want to finish early. I have a feeling I'm going to go all in. Check his pulse. Gavin Smith calls me Jay Tiller the killer. I like that. You're making me nervous. I hope so. I'm going to put this on. I'm here on a mission. For Ali Najad and Leanne Tweed, and I'm Craig Hummer saying so long from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. You've been watching the National Heads Up Open Championship. Yo, I'm just singing the Canadian National Anthem. This is scary. I can't sing. I'm like completely tone deaf. You want me to sing? Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, 
Canada. See, I told you I'm tone deaf. I can't do it. I forget the rest. <laughs> My home and native land. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> True patriot love in all thy son's command. We have a much easier national anthem than the Americans do. No, no high notes. 